Are you still losing the same hero sections or are you desperately hunting for a new design ideas? Fear not, my friend. I discovered the diffs of the internet to bring you five of the quick arrest and uh, effective mobile sections and five desktop sections you can certainly see still for your website. Just check the links in the description and get stealing in the most ethic way possibility, of course. Let's kick things off with the desktop because big screen deserves big love. Then we are shrinking into the down to mobile, like a magical pulling a rabbit out of the smartphone. Ready? Let's dive in. First, hero sections. Let's break it down and a true UX UI geek. On the left, we have got main text part with a net lead and CTA button saying learn more. Classic but effective. Front and center, we are greeted by a background image featuring as scale. Because why not? What the foreground of a mobile app mockup that sometimes manages to both stand out and blend in. Bonus points for the contrast and balance. What's really interesting is the empty space on the right, giving everything room to breathe like a pro yoga instructor. The composition is a solid and the contrast is working, mostly. The text on the left could pop up more against the background, but hey details, right or not, what you think? The real MVP here is the image, get it right and the whole design Ozu's personality. Next hero section, classic layout, but with a twist that not everyone has mastered. Let's talk about the background highlights. They have like a unsung heroes of the design, adding a subtle 3D charm that makes everything pop. Those kinds of glow effects work especially well when on the dark background, kind of like how LED RGB light turns every gaming setup into spaceship. The really star here, that's hand holding a phone with the app displaying. It's like the Michelangelo of UI, reaching out of the some sweet 3D deep. The whole thing just works. Sure, the layout is super common, but it's a little details like this that elevate its a chief kiss territory. Honestly, this is the one of my favorite example. It's a proof that every familiar layouts can shine when you sprinkle in some creativity flow. Now let's roll into the next hero section, yoga theme. And no, I don't practice yoga, but this layout is a bento style, one of my all time favorites. Bento layouts are like a Swiss army knife of design. Versatility, clean and perfect for all sorts of sections. Here is the use as a balance hero and deeply despite having multiply CTAs, it doesn't scream by now at, at you. Instead is a clam, collectivity and total zen. Notice how each bento box is a different size and yet somehow it's not chaotic. The information feels harmonious, like it's all doing down with dog in a perfect Sing. Honestly, this is a killer idea for hero sections. If you can sneak into one of your projects, I say go for it. The next example leans more into e-commerce vibe, not only for the train lovers. Right off the bat, you know it's a train search services. Nail it. The background trains directly to the team, sitting the scene without trying too hard. And on the first screen, boom. Train search functionality front and center, no guesswork needed. My only grip, the tagline navigate to the world by rain, kinds of getting lost in the stuff. It's like a shine kid at the party who deserve more attention. But overall is a solid, nothing groundbreaking, but the contrast color palette and image source are spot on. It's proof that sometimes sticking to the basic can still deliver a subtle wow factory. All aboard for the good design. The last hero desktop in this lineup, but don't worry, we are not done yet. This one is the most unique hero in the bunch. It's for a recruitment agency and you can tell right away thanks to the bold 
tagline in the header. The layout is a quirky 2-2 grid, but there he is a twist. The first block isn't the title, the second one is. And somehow it works. Credit goes to the perfectly tailored visually holding in all together. Now the slanted grid, it's a bold choice, at the first glance it might feel like a puzzle, but give it a moment and it starts to make sense. Would I use this in every project? Absolutely not. It's a cool style, but it's like a hot sauce, used sparingly for maximum effect. Overlay, a daring and refreshing. Take on the hero game. If you are vibing with this so far and want to whip up another video pack with even more section layouts, go on ahead and smash the like button below. Seriously, I will make it happen faster than you can say pixel perfect. Alright, break over, let's dive back in. In this part I will show you 5 examples of modi hero sections. No fluff, no delays, let's get this design train rolling. Choo choo. <laughs> First up we have got a travel app. On the screen we see the essentialist search bar with a settings or filters and a clear category layout. Classic? Right, but wait. Here's a twist I really want to headline the cards below it. Instead of using side by side with a bit picking out setup, those cards stacked horizontally with just a ties of the next one showing. It's a subtle yet clever way to hint at more content. And honestly, I'm itchy to build cards like this myself. Should I make a tutorial on how animate this kind of stack? If you are into that, drop a comment below and let me know. Next up, we have got a hero that feels like a stylish tail list and honestly, I am here for it. It's a creative take on navigation, giving a, you a straight shot to the content. Each tail rocks bold, clear text with a background image that don't overpower the message. It skips the usual classic sections and gets right to the point. If I had to pick my favorite mobile hero from this lineup, this one would definitely make my top list. Simple, functionally and just a bit fancy. What's not to love? Another hero, another cool layout. This one all about creativity section division. We have got, wait for it, two and half elements on the display. Let's me break it down. In the first section we have got a profile, navigation and a bold title with a details, CTA, standard stuff. But the next part, that it's where things got interesting. Tails designing a 3D cubes. Yes, actually cubes. Once again, 3D sneak into design, adding a playful modern touch. Sure, I hear you. Accessibility might throw sight eyed at this, but hey, it's a still fantastic approach. It's a inspiring me to try animation those cubes in Figma. Who is with me on this? Let's get cubing. Alright, here's another travel team example. So lastly, it's just me or everyone talking about travel today. I think it's the time for a vacation. Got any suggestion on where you have been recently? Anyway, back to business. This design shows one and half section on the screen. First one, a catching tagline navigation and a nearby destination section. But what really grabbed my attention are those cool cutouts on the offer Tails. We have got multiple layers happening in one spot with cutouts and highlighting spot. There's even some stretching siding between hotels and adding. Despite all these actions and info bombarding the screen, it still managed to look cohesive and easy to follow. Maybe travel isn't the only one thing I need to plan. I have got UI layout on my mind now. Last up we have got a app tile to AI. Talk about a team that's growing faster than my to-do list. Here we have diving into bento style and let me tell you is a service app some design magic. The second piece of the bento it shows in a really cool way. We have got two things in one, a cutout bento block and a carousels of tails all mixing together. It's like a design equivalent of peanut butter. 
and jolly sandwich. Unexpected, but it just works. What I love here is how both the design and functionality come together seamlessly. Minimalism checked, cohesive checked, and honestly, it's a pretty much everything I love in this design. Bento for the win. So now I'm curious, out of all these design layouts, which one is your favorite? That's my take on it, but I want to hear from you, what's your go-to hero section design? And with that, we are wrapping up today's video. I hope you had as much fun watching as I do make it in. Don't forget to check out the channel for more awesome content. I'm Przemysław and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. If you like it, don't leave without hitting the like button, you know the drill. Take care and catch you next time.